I was going back and forth for myself for mad long. Like, am I going to do this smoke session or am I just going to do this smoke session? I sat here and started smoking and all that. And I was just like, bitch, just record yourself. Because I ain't make a smoke session in a minute. And as y'all can see, my hair is different. And I don't know what video will be out first. Whether it will be this little mini smoke session. Or if it will be the hair video. Because I did record me um, installing this and shit like that. Because... For the OGs who've been on my channel, y'all know that's where we started. We started with the hair videos, the hair content, back to back to back. But, like I said before, make sure y'all like, comment, and subscribe. And let's just get into this little mini smoke session. So I'm a bad bitch and I got bad anxiety. People call me rude because I ain't letting them try me. Saying I'm a ho because I'm in love with my body. Issues, but nobody I can talk to about it. So we could chop it up, catch up, talk about where I've been. I did change my clothes already. Like I said, I don't know what video y'all going to see first. But I'm definitely wearing an I don't care outfit. Just doing some shorts. A shirt that I done bleached hair in it. Painted walls. Did those type of shit in. Like a regular old big t-shirt. And yeah. I figured I could just talk to y'all for a little bit because I did do my hair and my eyebrows and shit like that today. So why not knock two videos out in one, especially because I ain't post in two weeks. So y'all know how I get when I disappear for a little while. I just feel like y'all deserve a double upload. Hopefully this company really sent me this other bundle to put into this wig because if this wig was fuller, it would be so fire because the quality is fire and I really want to give them a real, real review with a wig that I feel like is up to par because the lace, everything on the wig is good except for the fact that I think it's so thin. So far, so good because it's only the first day, but damn. Yeah, I don't even want to have to do too much editing to this video. I'm dead just sitting in my living room. Put up my little um mini travel ring light. I didn't even want to bring my big ring light back out. Just turned that shit on and I said, we about to just sit here and smoke for a little bit. Because I know y'all really like my smoke sessions. Smoke sessions. And chop it up about some of the things that I noticed during the week. Because y'all know how we get that up. We'll be smoking, we talk. So make sure you grab your blunt, your snack. And let's just get straight into it. Because first things first, we're going to have to talk about this tattoo that Christian got on her neck. Like, girl, it got blue face on her neck again. And to me, it's just like, at this point, what the fuck are you trying to prove? It's just like, what? Like, are you trying to let him know that you love him? Are you trying to let him know... Like, you his rider. Like, you gonna be the one that's there for him. Because, not to be funny, anybody could get that man tatted on him. On them. So, it's just like. And it's like, you're ODing to the point where you about to have your whole body. You're just about to be a whole blue face tattoo. And when, when I think, I don't know if it was her first tattoo of him. Or when, I, I guess, he had peeped it. There was a video of where they was talking about it or whatever. And he was just like, I hope, like, you know I ain't make no promises to you. Like, oh, that we're going to be together. Or whatever the case may be. Like, I didn't promise nothing to you necessarily. You're not doing this inside of any, um, like, you know. I'm not making you no promises or selling you any dreams that we're gonna <laughs> be together or anything, right? <laughs> I just am your biggest fan, right? I understand. Right? I appreciate I'm not a person at all. I'm, I appreciate the gesture. <laughs> I appreciate the gesture. I appreciate it. How could I be mad at you for doing something <laughs> like that? All I'm saying is let's, let's we get it, right? Yeah, we good? Boy. Can you promise me this is the last one? Wait, I don't want to break that promise. Oh, come on. We good. You got enough Jonathan's on you. So, like, you getting this tattoo is on you type shit. That's what I got from the video as I was watching it. So, I'm just like, girl, another one? Mm. And you know how girls be like, oh, I need some of that so I can see why she acting like that. What? I don't even want none of that. I don't want to experience that. Like, what the fuck? Excuse me? Like, that's a different type of... Uh, you can't even call that obsession because people be obsessed and they still don't even get niggas tatted. They, I, I, I don't even know, like, what to call it. And I'm not even trying to use my tripod. This video about to be real, bro, real, in the spare of the moment. Because I want to get two videos out today. But, yeah. I just think that shit is crazy. I think I want to drop another story time too. Off the top of the Christian real quick. I think I want to um, drop another story time. I've been thinking about it. 
like what exactly I want to talk about. I want to talk about something juicy, something interesting, and like real life facts. Because I feel like some people's story times be other people's story times. Not like they be other people's shit, but it's like that 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 don't be shit that they really experience. You know, all my story times is real life shit, shit that I went through. Like shit, I remember one time. <laughs> I got a story time, a mini story time real quick. So long story short, me and my bitch, we were standing outside. We were smoking, we were chilling or whatever the case may be. And I don't know, this was a few years ago, like years ago. So I don't know if at the time, like we just wasn't legal or what. But let me just tell y'all real quick before we get back into this dumb ass shave room drama. Like, so me and her, we standing outside, we smoking, we chilling, right? But I don't know why, but for some reason the cops was there. So... I guess the cops had seen us smoking or like security or somebody had saw us smoking at the time and they just wasn't jacking it for whatever reason. So next thing you know, we see a cop car, right? So we see a cop car and of course you see a cop car, you're not thinking nothing of it because... You're not thinking nothing of it because you're not really thinking that you're doing anything wrong. Like, so... We sitting there smoking, but then we see the cop car again. And now at this point, it's like they clearly circling the block. So we see the cop car, right? But this time when we see the cop car, they got the searchlight on. Now, I don't know if we was just paranoid or if niggas was dead ass on our ass. Like, yo, when I tell you that I looked to the side and the only thing I seen was a big ass spotlight shining from the top of the police car to the wall. Like they're scanning the wall with the light to catch anybody who run anybody that go. So me and her, we just inching, we inch, we inch, we inch. And then we just start booking it because at this point, like I said, I don't know if we was just paranoid because we was smacked or if they was dead ass on our ass, but me and her both knew to run. Like we just ran because hell no for, for smoking some weed. So me and her running, 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 running. We booking it. We done booked it through some bushes, some woods, some all type of shit. Because one every time we ran to a different street, like we seen the same cop car. So it's just at this point, they clearly following us. And I'm not going to jump for no weed. I don't even remember how old I was at this time. But we had to be, I don't even, I can't even tell you when this was. This shit was so long ago, like so long ago. But it's just like, bro. It's crazy because we run it through the bushes, we run it through the woods, we run it through all type of shit. We doing mad crazy shit just to avoid them, right? So, bro, we run through one of these. We get to the last part of the woods by my crib, right? While we get to the last part of the woods by my crib and there's a gate now. And I guess me and her both didn't know or see it. So I'm running. I'm running up the shit. And at this point, niggas followed us into where we ran. So... Bitch, we're hauling ass. So we're running, we're running, we're running. And I slipped up under the shit because I seen a hole. And at this point, bitch, what are we waiting for? We, well, you either climb in this tall ass gate or you won't come in this hole with me. So I slipped up under there, wiggled through there so that she could wiggle through there too, right? But at the time, I think my hair was like up in a messy bun. But we were just outside smoking, chilling. And I, didn't, I, I don't know what, why, how the fuck my hair ended up like that. But my hair was up in a messy bun and I had something tied around it. I don't know what I was doing. But it wasn't really on my head because I didn't really install that wig that day. So it wasn't no glue, no nothing, no got to be, no nothing holding that wig down. But whatever was tied on my head, I'm guessing. So, yeah. When I tell y'all, the gate snatched the fucking wig off my head so quick. It <sighs> snatched it off and a bitch like me. Bitch, we in the middle of running for the boys. That's a good wig, don't get me wrong. Because all my wigs cause bread. Y'all... Y'all know, because I'm always ordering here, but at the same time, it's like, bitch, I left the wig. Could care less at that time. When I say me and her was booking it, we was booking it. Like, to the point where after, I don't know if it was the next day or just a couple, um, a little bit after, because I had, we had ran into my building after that, and we were just weak laughing at the shit, because the way the shit happened was just so funny, like, when we running from the boys, don't even know if they running for us or not, but we just sitting here smoking, and at the time, I, uh, we wasn't something that niggas was just doing, doing in front of the cops without having no type of consequence, so, we was weak off of that, 
We weak because of the way the wig flew off my head. The fact that the wig even came off my head, how it got stuck, everything. We just weak. Then we looking out the window to see if that they if they still here or type of shit. Cause niggas sat and parked outside the building like. So, so it's like for us to have ran from wherever the fuck we was at all the way back to the crib and niggas still was on our ass. Like, I don't know if I didn't have a car. Maybe we just wasn't in my car. I don't remember when exactly this happened, but that shit was just so funny to me. And I just had to tell you that story time real quick. Like, girl, what? That was my first and only time ever having to run from Jake's. Like, that shit is crazy. Cool crazy for some dumb shit like smoking weed at that and i'm sure we were probably just paranoid like maybe they was looking for somebody who was outside but the fact that we was running and so sus and so paranoid that's probably why they started chasing us like but no i don't consume you know doing any things that are illegal and where you live at or whatever i'm grateful that weed is legal now so i don't gotta hear shit about it i smoke and go about my business freely but that was shit was treacherous back then like i remember i used to see like the d's used to come to my neighborhood sometime and they used to just randomly pat niggas down to see if niggas had any type of weed on them like they didn't care whether you you just had intent to sell or rip like i remember those days so it's just crazy how the times is changing but i'm changing with the motherfuckers and i look cute like head side chilling with no makeup on I just got motherfucking eyebrows and lashes, but I'm still looking like a joint. At this point, put me in the studio. But now nah, I think I'm about to roll up again because I done sat here and chatted. And we barely even really got into some things. Like, we supposed to be talking about the shade room and this shit ended up being a story time. But I guess it really don't matter because I said I was going to post two videos anyway. But that shit was mad fucking funny, yo. Like, mad funny. Funny and unnecessary. Because there's no way that that shit happened. Oh, yeah. And Nikki, JT, Akbar, everybody and their mother arguing on Twitter. Like, that shit was crazy. If you missed that, what the fuck? Like, oh, God. Everybody and their mother was just... Like, one thing about Nikki, Cardi, and who... They, them bitches is gonna argue. Cardi, Cardi gonna argue you down. So, it was just like, oh, the fact that they was even going at it like that. Then, now Nikki mad about the Grammys and all this other shit. Look, I don't, I'm not gonna say I don't care about all that shit, other shit going on. But, at this point, we just waiting to see Rihanna get up on the stage. The girls that get it, get it. The ones that don't, don't. We know what the fuck we waiting for. We waiting to see Riri. Where is Rihanna? But I don't want to drag this one out too long, and I think this was gonna, this video is gonna be shorter than my hair video, so I'll probably edit this one and have this one up first. So y'all will get the specs on this hair later if this one is up first. Either way, I get in both videos. Make sure you like, comment, and motherfucking subscribe. I'm probably about to roll up again after I eat. I gotta eat and make sure I drink an intro because as y'all know I started drinking insurance again because I've been trying to gain them them pounds back. I'm not trying to I'm not trying to be so let me stop laying on this here too. I'm not trying to be like super super duper super duper thick, but I wanna get my weight back because the ones who know know like I was working on it. I got to like 180, 181, 180 and change, I believe, if I'm not mistaken. And I fell off. I stopped drinking insurance completely. That's one. Two, I was stressed out. So it was just like. So it was just like. But. Mm -hmm. my camera about to die but make sure y'all like comment and motherfucking subscribe and i'll see y'all in my next video and my new subscribers i see y'all like we had like what i think it's 520 something last time i was here i was at like 513 like we had just hit 500 so the fact that we only with it is 600 and almost there is like girl talk to me nice make sure y'all subscribe we on the road to 600 a thousand a hundred a hundred thousand a million three million like we're almost there, but I'm smacked, and this blinking red light is making me anxious because I don't know when it's going to cut off, so I'm going to just see y'all in my next motherfucking video.
I'm a bad bitch and I got bad anxiety People call me rude cause I ain't letting them try me Saying I'm a hoe cause I'm in love with my body Issues but nobody I can talk to about it